everyone, today I've got your Evil Dead movie review. I had seen this with a lot of high expectations because I'm a huge horror movie buff. You know, this is by the creators of the original Evil Dead, so I was definitely looking forward to it. I had actually mentioned this in my last Trailer Thursday video that I had literally seen the Red Band trailer for Evil Dead five times in a row and it still like had like chills like running up my spine it was absolutely like terrifying so it just got me even more pumped and excited to see this i literally was freaked out every single time i was watching this movie it was absolutely insane it definitely uh just oh left me shaken by the end of it first starts off about this girl who is being like held like prisoner by these people they're like there's this one crazy old lady like saying like all these like things from this book or whatever this girl's like tied up and um she's like calling out to her dad so it gets pretty crazy like oh my god let me guess this is the start of like this is who um like she becomes like this evil demon or something i don't know what ends up happening is that she is possessed and they're just trying to save her and of course by saving meaning like kill her basically in the end we kind of see like what she turns out to be and it's like that one evil looking chick she's the evil dead that's what she is so then after that burned alive and then we cut to like present day where there's this like group of kids of course they want to have this fun time at this cabin they're all just to support this one main chick named mia who is trying to get over this addiction and um, like her brother's there and a couple of her other friends are there. They like have been going through a lot lately and it doesn't really help when one of the guys who looks kind of like a nerd finds this book in the basement. It's the same book from the beginning of the movie and like oh my god now it's gonna be like some crazy book of the dead shit from the mummy. Like, don't ever read from the book. You know you should never read something you don't know about. This is no lending library. Take it back. Or at least, like, drop it in the deepest ocean or something. Get rid of it. Like, don't even, like, bother um, investing in your curiosity. But, of course, curiosity did kill the cat. So, basically, a whole bunch of weird stuff happens after a uh, nerd guy reads from the book and tries to interpret it and basically everything that's happening in the book is happening in real life like i'm freaked out because it this movie literally brought me back to the days when i was watching slasher films and gruesome gory blood and guts spilling everywhere it just gets really insane and people are going crazy left and right and it just ooh, it just blows up out of proportion it's like oh it really had a smile on my face and i'm not like saying an evil grin or anything but um, it was just so like, ooh, ooh, give me chills. I will say definitely like there is some crazy stuff that happens. I don't want to spoil this too much for those who actually are waiting um, to see this movie. I want to actually see the stuff that happens, so I'm not going to try to describe exactly what happens to like certain people, but it just got really gruesome. So if you've seen like either the trailers, the, like the Red Band trailer, most likely. There was a scene that it still like grosses me out to this day. It still chills me to the bone. And there's some self mutilation going on, and I'm just like, Aah! I was just literally my nails were digging into my legs the whole time, and just, like simultaneously doing that and holding my seat because I was just like, yeah. And I was also trying to hold, uh, hold my stomach because some of this stuff wasn't like two girls and one cup gross, but it was just like typical slasher um, blood and guts spilling everywhere gross. If they're trying to set this movie up and market it saying it's one of the like scariest movies you'll ever see, that was the one main reason why I wanted to see it because you know I wanted them to prove it to me that that is the case. Maybe parts of it were really scary, like stuff I've like never seen before and then others were like things like you know it's a rehash of other things that I've seen. So overall the experience seeing this movie I thought definitely brought me back and I just really have an appreciation for like all like types of horror films going back to like really suspenseful like Hitchcock movies to like these slasher films that you know are filled with mostly no-name actors 
except there was that one girl from Cloverfield that I recognized, and what happened to her, I was like, yeah, I know something's gonna happen. It's gonna be one of those weird um, transmitted things, like from 28 Days Later, like that type of thing. Only the last few minutes of the film definitely were really, like, on solid ground when it came to really just, like, oh, like, getting down to the bone, um, and really, like, pouring all that blood out at you. I can't imagine this movie would be in 3D. I would actually love to see this movie in 3D. And that's a first for me, saying that. Stay during the credits when you watch this, because there is something that um, is kind of like an ode to the first, or to the original Evil Dead movie. I really like that. Watch out for that. Definitely a win for me. I loved it. May see Evil Dead again. If you guys have seen Evil Dead, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it, and if you've seen the um, original Evil Dead movie, which one did you like better and um, why? And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Joe Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later. <sighs>